YouTube, I am back. Um, thank you so much. I don't know how to start this because I'm not good at it. But I really, really appreciate you guys, the ones that have donated. Today, I got a reminder I was supposed to do this yesterday. <laughs> thank you so much for your donations. There is somebody that donated this morning, but I cannot find your email to thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You don't know when something materializes from my readings, even comments itself, but when something materializes like a donation, it feels so much good, even if it's a dollar, you know, it feels like, whoa, you know, like it's a, it's so much different than getting your regular paycheck. <laughs> from your day to day it's not just the money it's something so different when it comes from your channel something that you've put your passion your love into it's so much different than a what a thousand dollar check or 1400 you know the stimulus whatever it's so much different than earning it from somewhere that you put your love into so thank you so much also for the ones that comments, the ones that say it resonates or you've helped me with your message. That fulfills the purpose of the reading, even if it's with one person. Okay, so I really do appreciate everyone. Okay, so, so we have um, our four piles. We're going to see how they're feeling right now and if there's if there's going to be communication this reading was requested so i always um you know if it if it's going to help others i always listen to requests you know um, as long as they're general and it'll help others and yourself too so um we have four options the red blue pink and yellow and we're gonna try and get some time, time predictions okay so let's get started see what we have here we'll start with the red of course if you need more time you can pause it okay so let's see what do we have here how are they feeling right now so we have unsent messages Ooh, double life okay we have death temperance and board Okay, what they're feeling right now is that they want to really message you, but they can't. This person, wow, I'm feeling like this person is waiting for the right time to message you. They might have a double life, meaning they are a different person in public. You might even see them on social media. They're having fun. They're doing great. They're doing... Sorry, you guys, I really had to answer that. I was going to ignore it, but... I couldn't <laughs> so okay like I was saying this person I'm feeling whoever you're waiting for they're waiting for you I feel like they have tried several times to text you but then they chicken out they flake out pretty much this person like I was saying as well um, they pretend to be great they're probably showing a different side of themselves somewhere else like on social media, out in public, they're doing great, but it's a double life because when they're alone, they're a different person. Uh, when they're alone, they don't show their vulnerability. That's what I'm getting. I'm not really feeling the title here because of the influence around it. I feel like this person is actually waiting for you okay or they could be jaded they could be very vulnerable um and people don't see that okay of course this person can have a double life but that's not what i'm feeling here okay and if you've followed me for years for a couple years since i've been on um youtube i don't always go by the title i go by my intuition here and this is what i'm feeling i feel like this person has gone through is some kind of change they're wanting a big end of a cycle a renewal here and they're trying to maybe have patience here but I don't think that's working out mm -mm. 
I feel like they're just waiting for the right time. So let me see. What do we have here for unsent messages? Yeah. See, this person wants to clear the air out with you. But... But there is just too much there. Like there is a wedge between you two. It, there could be something that's just keeping you from working things out. And they just don't find the way on how to clear things out and work with you. Come to uh, an agreement or a compromise. Or compromise with you. Let's see. What is this double life? What's this double life? Yeah, they're probably very hard at work right now, putting in the energy and time, not showing people what they're really going through. They're keeping themselves distracted, probably putting in extra hours, overtime, whatever. But they're working on something. I feel like they have been stuck. Again, I feel vulnerability. The reason why is because they don't have a shirt here. And they don't, they have... Their vulnerability side is this. Okay. So it kind of seems like they just don't show people the real them. They feel stuck here. I just keep what's really being uh, highlighted to me is all these, these, um, the rope around their, the arms. Like they can't really move ahead no matter how much they try. They can't move ahead. They're trying a lot to not think about this. They could also be working on themselves or working on something. A project or something. They're putting a lot of energy into something. Give me more of this board. So... I feel like they are waiting for the right time. They could also be keeping an eye on you. But somebody here, they feel like maybe you have put a... like. I feel like they're also learning about their spiritual self. Like their soul or they're going through some kind of spiritual awakening. Because the Eight of Wands is something... Is also... How do I say it? Moving forward. Taking some kind of action forward wanting to move forward with the hierophant of course that turns into a lot more of you know um through spirit like something here that they're needing to do something that they're being called to do mm -hmm. so it kind of also seems because this is my stalker card kind of seems like they have been keeping an eye on you and they're just waiting for the right time to come and creep up on you <laughs> look at but not maybe necessarily creep up on you, but maybe come towards you. I don't know. Somebody might be also keeping an eye on you on social media, but I still get they're waiting for the right time to communicate. Of course, they probably have been healing because they're jaded. Let's see. What is this death card? Why is death card here? See, I told you they want to change. They also want to change. They're going through something. It's really, it's like, it's a struggle for them to even think positive about this. But I feel like they're going through a change themselves. And they're not showing the real, the true, their true self. They're going through a transformation themselves. They're trying to work on themselves, on them. Look at that halves and it's not gender specific but the message here is them going through working on themselves trying to change going through a transformation hmm. trying to see things differently 
could be as well in a positive way but it's still a struggle for them let's see what is this temperance doing here it's really difficult for them to think positive about this they might have they're probably thinking a lot more logically about this and trying to manifest a happily ever after with you mm -hmm. i feel like they're trying to manifest a and be patient wanting to go towards this this emotional fulfillment i feel like they've been thinking about reconciliation as well okay so they're just going through some kind of transformation and awakening like i said a spiritual awakening with the tower here i do feel like it could be an awakening an epiphany of some sort but i feel like they're still going through it mm -hmm. so have some patience because we do have temperance let's see any time predictions for communication this person is wanting to change as well and manifest a happy life uh, that's what i'm seeing like they've learned their lesson um about some heal something that they've been trying to heal from as well because we have the hierophant too like learning about their spiritual path maybe getting into you know their calling or their belief systems okay wasting your time wow look at this they're both sitting on a chair so they are feeling like they're wasting their time here they feel like they're wasting their time i feel like this is them it's a very very it's a clear message they feel like they're wasting their time oh but that's because they're going through something right now i'm not sure like they're wanting to change any time prediction for this communication any time prediction for communication spirit guides i don't feel like that was it i feel like this is them it's pretty obvious i can't really say that's your time prediction june in june you might see something manifesting maybe summer solstice or by um father's day okay so that's what i'm getting this is so rare <laughs> let's see let me see what we get for that wasting your time why is wasting your time here spirit guides for this pile let me just see out of curiosity no they're trying to have patience but i feel that they feel that they're wasting time but we have temperance here twice they're trying to have patience okay or they're trying to balance themselves as well or trying to find their purpose their spiritual purpose here but they're trying to have patience finding harmony within themselves because i feel like they feel stuck they're working on too many things maybe that's what i'm getting wow that's interesting okay so that is what i have here so i do see a gemini a cancer there i see scorpio um sagittarius let's see aquarius i see taurus sagittarius pisces earth signs um air aries taurus scorpio and see they're not happy right now um this is a challenge the sun could be a leo as well okay so that is what i have for this pile thank you so much for watching let's move forward okay the blue so we have the blue let's see what we have here is there going to be communication 
apology, escapism. Three of Pentacles, Hangman. This came out on the first pile. Hopeless, pessimistic. Wow. Okay, so this person is feeling like they were trying to go against the grain, like something that they weren't paying attention to. Like they weren't paying attention to their intuition. That's what I got at first with this card. They could be feeling very pessimistic about the situation with you. Um, like that's, oh, I don't know, like very defeated, hopeless. It's escapism. They might be drinking too much. Drinking seems to be the only thing that numbs my mental agony. Wow. So they could be doing something, even if they don't drink, they might be doing something to numb their thoughts, numb their heart, numb their feelings. Um, they're sorry. I'm sorry for disappointing you. Will you accept my apology? They don't think that you will accept their apology. Okay, this person is really into this um, hopeless energy. They want to work together. They want to col collab together. They want to put the effort in. Maybe they also want recognition from you. Like you, they want your attention, I feel. We have Hangman. So they have been probably waiting. But we'll look more into that because it could also be them looking at things from a different perspective. And that's why they're probably feeling guilty because now they, they have noticed. They have reflected on their past actions. That's what I'm feeling with this. So let's see. Why is apology here? For the blue pile spare guides. <clears throat> so they want to come and apologize, but they don't know what you would will say. I feel like there is some kind of fear. I never feel that with the moon, but it kind of seems like it is. They um, don't know if maybe you'll take them serious, but they do want to come and apologize. They don't know anything about you, it seems like. What is this escapism? Or they want to know about you. They're a little confused of what you would say could be as well not knowing what you would say if they apologize give me more of this escapism whoops i got it upside down okay so yeah i feel like there is some blockage there i don't know if somebody put their foot down or somebody here has said enough is enough and now they're scared to come towards you because they're afraid that you're just going to um, block them. So that's why they might be drinking for some of you. Because I see it here twice. They feel like, they really feel like this will not go anywhere. Because either you're going to block them or something like that. Wow. Let's see, what is this hopeless doing here? Oh, yeah. So, I feel like they... F they feel like it's just... They feel defeated. Something went down. Something just... Blew up. And... It kind of seems like they're struggling with this. It's like... Some of them probably had like an ego. Um, so, it kind of blew up in their face. Like they're having this ego... Um, how do I say it? Ego battle here. It could be. And I know this is not the five of swords. Because that's what I get as well. But I feel like they're fighting with themselves. But they're looking at this as it's a lost cause. You know. Like why fight it? There's some inner conflict here. That's what I'm feeling. It, this is a lost cause. There's too much water under the bridge. Give me more of this Three of Pentacles. I 
Okay, so somebody here does want to work at this. I feel like this person longs for you, but there's been a lot of hurt. Somebody has put their foot down, I feel, and they miss what they had with you. Mm-hmm. And they want that back. They actually want to work towards it. They know that there's, there's a lot of healing that is needed, but they want to work on it. Okay. Why do I have some more? Sorry. Okay, why is Hangman here, Spirit Lines? So this person wants to keep moving forward, but they also want to want to reach out. They are looking at things differently, but they don't know how to reach out. They can't really move forward. They want to, but they can't. So I feel like they're seeing things from a different perspective, but they keep contemplating if they should reach out or not. They should move, move forward or not. It's interesting so they could be putting their energy trying to steer focus away from you no matter what but they still find themselves stuck okay so the problem could be that somebody was not cons consistent or somebody was just being a player here so let's see what is it that what is a time prediction, if any, for this group, Spirit Lines? Their time prediction at night. Give me another one. Time prediction for this group. This can just signify that it could be anytime soon, but it's going to be at night when they're going to be calling you. It's not too late. Some of you are thinking that it's too late. But it's not. <laughs> Some of you think that there is just too much under the, too much water under the bridge. Mm hmm. But because you, you see, I have bad lighting, sorry. But this little tree or plant is coming out of some, some a mountain cement, no grass or anything. So even though there's been a lot of struggles, even though it seems blocked, I feel like they're still going to try. Like, it's not too late for this to, you know, rebuild. And I don't want to sound like, maybe some of you think it's just too late. It's never going to happen. But I feel like it is. It's still a possibility for some of you. See, why is this at night here? Wow, at night is when they think about you, not knowing what to do. They try to block this out, but they can't. With the Two of Cups and the Two of Swords, they think about reaching out at night the most. Why is it's not too late here? Yeah, somebody is going to want to come and talk to you. They see you as somebody that is, they can have long term with. Somebody that they can, um, they see you as a husband material, wife material here. Somebody that they can have an abundance with, long term with. And they want to talk. They want to talk. It's not too late for some of you. Okay, so... Um, use your intuition as well. I'm not saying go and call them. It's really up to you if you still want to fix this. It's not too late for some of you. So we didn't get really a time prediction because things are still up in the air. Their energy is not helping the situation either because they try to escape this feeling. So let's see what happens. Okay. So we have fire water fire scorpio and sometimes spirit doesn't want you to know the time prediction okay just fyi 
they don't want you to know because if you're really working on them on yourself because it looks like you are if you're working on yourself they don't want you to stop so if they see if they feel that you're gonna you're still contemplating on this maybe they still want you to finish and work on yourself in order to receive this communication okay so that's what we have scorpio earth cancer pisces could be a libra cancer or earth fire gemini sag taurus libra water air yep. let's see bottom of the deck yeah they want to overcome this struggle they have been reflecting on how they acted with you and they want to come towards you that's the challenge to overcome okay so that is what i have for this pile thank you so much for watching let's move forward and i do see leo as well okay pink pile let's see what we have for the pink pile commitment oh you have an extra message pink pile Commitment, pretending, gossip. Five of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, and Discouraged. So this person is discouraged. They might have heard something about you, okay? Um, this person is pretending to be happy and that it's all fine, but they're really miserable. Wow. Commitment. When I think about my future, I see you. Wow. <laughs> but they feel discouraged here. I don't know if they've heard something or they're thinking things that are not true. I've heard rumors about you that has been difficult to ignore. If it's not that, then they are. I'm getting somebody that is overthinking and thinking stories in their mind that are creating that are not true so they feel very discouraged okay some of you of course they've heard gossip and they feel very very discouraged let's see what is this come uh, five actually there could have been some petty arguments some comp competition some outside influences there could have been some sev um, seven of pentacles <laughs> there could have been a lot of um investing into this situation you guys could have been married or had something very committed or just invested a lot of time and energy into this um both parts let's see what is this commitment okay so yeah this person whenever they think of moving forward they think of you moving forward with them so they can't really move forward i feel like they can't move forward because there's been a lot of wounds there's been a lot of hurt here and they're seeing things from a different perspective um yeah that's what I'm getting. I feel like this person keeps wanting to move forward, but they can't. Because we have two conflicted energies. Eight of Wands with the Hangman. They could be seeing things from a whole different perspective here. Like they're seeing... They're seeing that they can actually... They want you in their future. Okay, what is this pretending... They're keeping themselves blocked and stuck. So they're pretending that they're probably out there playing the field, having their time, probably just... I feel like this person wants to... They're pretending like they don't want to come towards you and apologize for something. Mm-hmm. They're pretending that they're not going to make 
Like they're, they don't want to come message you. I don't know. This, this person is just faking it. <laughs> Either they're pretending to other have uh, to p other people that they're fine without you, but what they really want to do is apologize and make things right between you two. Some of them is they're kind of learning their lesson. If they were playing around with you, they're learning their lesson, a big karmic lesson that they shouldn't have had. I'm getting somebody here thought that the grass was greener on the other side and it just, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Give me more of this gossip. So they want to confront you here. Yep, they want to come and apologize. They want to confront you. They want to talk things over and see what you've been up to. If you've been maybe... Because you also have been keeping your distance, haven't been saying much. Um, you stopped expressing yourself to them. And they want to know why. Why did you stop? Maybe you, you're you um, dating someone new. Maybe there is someone new in the picture. Maybe they heard this and it caused some kind of, um, I don't know. It kind of seems that way and they want to confront this head on and out uh, and talk to you and see what's been going on with you because i feel like this um knave of chalice they have a book down here and they want to know what's wh what they're curious about it they want to come show you a kind gesture mm -hmm. the book is standing out to me that's why i want to know that's why i'm feeling that like they want to open this chapter and see what you've been up to is it really true what they've heard or what they're thinking huh. because i feel like you stopped giving to the situation you stopped caring or to them you stopped caring and i feel like you can feel that they're coming towards you for some of you give me more of this discouraged Wow, this person, whoever you're connecting with, they feel so disappointed. They're disappointed in their actions, the Knave of Wands with the Five of Cups. They're disappointed on what they've done, the, how they never followed up with you. They never really, they're just discouraged. They feel, um, they feel... They don't have like good spirits like at all. They feel l like they're in the blues. That's what I get here. Hmm. Let's see. Why is five of wands here? So this person could have like an internal battle here interesting we have the temperance that I wanted to come out with the knight of chalices this person is going back and forth maybe they feel too attached to this um, I feel like they're having inner conflict maybe there's some ego here some ego struggle between yeah because when the devil and the temperance for me okay this is my interpretation I'm always getting that, okay, I want this, but I can't let this go. I have to let it go. I can't. A part of me says, yes, do it. A part of me says, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm like, there, there's some ego here, but they're not getting anything good out of it. This is a very um sad card. Okay, the Knight of Chalice, the Knight of Cups. It's like they feel the love. They want to come towards them. But it's like, you know how there's a, you know how you see um, at, in the, those TV shows, this is what I think of. The, the angel on your shoulder is saying, yes, go for it. That's your intuition. The angel on your, um, the, <laughs> the devil on the other side of your shoulder is telling you, no, you don't deserve that. You're thinking very negative, you know. 
So this is what they're going through because they feel very discouraged. No, well, how are you going to go towards them? And it's all ego. They're the ones that are supposed to come towards you kind of thing. You know, the devil is in their ear. The angel is on the other ear. That kind. Okay. Some of them, some other readers have different interpretations, but this is how I connect to my reading here. Okay. So give me more on this seven of pentacles. Ooh, that one jumped out. Okay, so they actually want to put effort in there. Okay, I feel like they will overcome this for most of them. They'll overcome their ego. But they want to turn things around with you. Okay, they have been probably going through some... Um, they want to put the effort in. That's what I see here. Towards a long, long-term relationship. They want to turn things around. That's what I'm getting for some of you. What's at the bottom? The challenge is to get over this feeling of feeling out in the cold, thinking negative, having that lack mentality. Okay, so let's see. Any time predictions for this? Any time predictions? Yep. They're going to crack. <laughs> Every time I see something rushing, this person is going to crack and want to come towards you before it's too late. Give me one more. They're, they just need to get over their pity party or something like that. Next full moon, you can be seeing some kind of action here. Give me more on this rushing in. They're rushing in. They're still going to take that leap of faith in it despite the feelings. They feel that maybe you're going to reject them. But spontaneously, I feel like they fear rejection. But out of nowhere, they're going to want to take that leap of faith. Okay. So that's what I have for this pile. So they're going to be rushing in. Could be next full moon for some of you. Okay. So let's see. I see Sag, Aries, Pisces, Gemini, um, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Pisces, Sagittarius, Earth signs, Aries, Water, Cancer, um, Pisces again, Earth signs, Libra, and Scorpio. Challenges to get over this. Mm hmm. To come, and they're gonna come unexpected. I'm getting unexpected here, okay? Or surprise. I don't know why I'm getting that. That's for someone. So I do see Earth, Fire here. Okay, so that is what I have. Thank you so much for watching. Let's move forward. Okay, Yellow. What do we have for Yellow, Spirit Guides? Sorry, I needed to drink something. Okay. Whoa. I love you. Only you. What? I haven't gone through all this, these cards, but wow. That's pretty major. And you all know me. I choose cards that have both good and bad. And that's pretty good here. We have 10 cards, Knight of Cups, and Ashamed. So this person is ashamed to even look at you. I don't know what they did, but some of them are probably just feeling unworthy of you. Or ashamed. Some of them are scared to, to look at you. But there is love here. With the Ten of Swords and the Knight of Cups... This person is ashamed of their actions. They're ashamed that they hurt you. They even hurt they're hurt themselves. They hurt themselves. And they want to come in. This person is really in their feelings. Mm-hmm. 
wow really in their feelings like most this was way different feeling than the last three piles this one i feel a lot of love a lot okay let's see what is this i love you they keep fighting it they they're they have inner conflict but there is a lot of attraction towards you and they're trying to fight it they're trying not to give in for some reason i love you more than i have ever found a way to say to you wow they still have you still have this pull on them like they they want to they feel pulled in by you I feel this magnet and they're trying to fight it. Why? What is this only you? Wow. I don't know what happened, but it kind of seems like they've had a realization. Look at that. I can't freaking lie. This is, I'm not a lovey-dovey person, but this is a two of cups. That's why I shuffle on camera the tarot because it just confirms what is pulled out before the reading. Two of Cups. And it's a realization. I'm not seeing anyone else if that's what you're wondering. See? It sounds like what I say all the time whenever I whenever it comes out. Interesting. What is this ashamed? Okay, so I feel like this person is ashamed. They're blocking themselves from giving you some kind of... Hmm. I feel like this person is blocking themselves, but I don't see why. They betrayed you? I feel like this person is ashamed to admit that they had feelings and they blocked them. And they're actually willing to put in the effort and time. They're wanting to, they're trying to work on themselves, but they're blocking themselves at the same time. That's interesting. Why is the moon here? Give me more on this moon. They're holding back their emotions. It's hidden emotions. They're holding back on them. They don't want to admit. This person feels unworthy. They could, they probably don't have a lot to offer you because they're working, could be working a lot, saving money, or they just don't feel worthy of you, worthy of your love. They can't really give you what you want. This person is having money problems. And you might not know it with the moon here. That's why they're holding back. When sometimes there are people out there because it could be, um, I've gone through this a couple years ago. Um, you don't feel worthy at all when you're having money problems. Your, your mind's not all there. You feel like stability and security are the most important things, especially in my culture. Um, you need to feel secure stable especially you know if you're feeling in that male role in my culture you have to be the one to offer stability and that's what it seems like here let's see what is this um ten of swords could be in any culture actually because that's what i feel here so let's see ten of swords okay so I feel like this person is wanting to heal the situation and come to a, like want to compromise with you and have a good equal give and take. They have been probably, um, this person's been going through some bad luck. Okay. I'm, I'm telling you, I don't know who you're connecting with, but they're, they feel like they've been going through some bad luck. Like they've hit rock bottom 
they want to reach out they want to be happy again but it kind of seems like they've been going through bad luck like maybe they're there's a lot of money going out they keep working 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 and nothing's coming out of it um that's what i'm also getting here but they don't feel happy they're trying to heal from something as well or heal money matters could be i keep getting money sorry I don't know who this is but they that doesn't affect the love that they have for you it affects their worthiness like to them that's how they're thinking or feeling let's see what is this knight of cups see again i feel like they can't offer you something stable. They're, they have that, they want to propose something. They want to declare their love to you, but they can't offer you that stability. They want to apologize for whatever has happened. They want to make things right. The devil and the justice. There is a karmic lesson that they're going through. And I feel like it's more about stability, security, money, that is interfering life is interfering here that's what i keep getting i know i've been uh, i was i keep i keep um repeating myself but it keeps coming up pentacles 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 <laughs> but the love is there so this is probably not going to resonate with everyone so we have um the hierophant so commitment something stable long term could be the problem here is that they can't really offer it for you like right now okay let's see if there's going to be communication i feel like there's going to be communication the knight of cups is here let's see if there's um time prediction if any time prediction for this pile of spirit lines yeah there's gonna be october could be a special date um coming up it could be anything a holiday uh it could be halloween but it's gonna be a significant date um and we have october so could be from now until then here let me see what is a special date oh okay well they're just popping out okay so they want they want to end whatever has happened and take action to start something new whatever has happened between you two there could have been a lot of mind games a lot of hardships a lot of karmic energy between you two like things that you both had to learn from and they want to start all over. We have the olive branch. They want to start all over because they still feel that tie. I feel like they still have that tie. And they want to make things right. But it's really difficult right now. All they can offer is this. The ace of wands is a new passionate beginning. They can't really offer you something stable because they're still going through it. Okay. So that is what I have here. I do. Let's see. Bottom of the deck. We have the Nine of Cups. This is this dream? I'm getting a uh, dream fulfillment here. I don't want to romanticize it, but come on, it's here. Two of Cups. This, they're trying to, they keep thinking about it. Knight of Cups. It's just life that's interfering with this. Okay, so we have Fire, Leo. Could be Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Air Signs, Capricorn, Libra, Taurus, Leo, could be a Libra again. Um, lots of fire, but anybody can embody action. Okay, so we have Leo again. <laughs> Earth Signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Pisces or Water Signs. Okay, so that is what I have. I just see Pisces and Air Signs. Thank you so much and take care of you. Bye.